degradation just happens to be very, very difficult to measure. But uh, a, a great example, and again, one of the cool things about my PhD was actually changed the way I ate, um, which I think is interesting. So before I had been like, a, I eat eight meals a day, eat every two hours, try eight to keep- meals a day. Yeah, when I got to grad school. In order to get that 30 grams of protein get per that, meal. Get that amino drip going in was the idea, right? Like just have an IV hooked up of amino acids. Not and really, folks. Not like, really, okay. yeah. <laughs> but that, that was kind of the concept. But the first study I did, we basically looked at, okay, a lot of people had measured the amplitude of protein synthesis in response to a meal. We wanted to see- how long does this last and where does it peak, right? And so my thought was, okay, well, it'll, it'll probably track with plasma leucine. You, you give, for those that are not familiar, leucine is the amino acid that is almost exclusively responsible for increasing muscle protein synthesis when you eat protein. So it's, it's one of the branch chain amino acids. So we wanted to see, okay, how long does this effect last? So we, we fed these animals uh, whey protein and again, I thought, okay, well, however long plasma leucine stays up, that will be how long uh, protein synthesis stays up. And so we got the protein synthesis data back and it was peaked at 90 minutes, or sorry, peaked from 45 to 90 minutes and then was back down to baseline by 180 minutes. And so when I went to do the plasma leucine analysis, my shock was at three hours, plasma leucine was still plateaued out. And I said,